Hello, welcome to the Los Angeles Lakers News Top Channel. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, leave your like, and activate the notification bell. Write in the comments which city you are watching from. Rumors are increasing about this negotiation. To make a decision, you need a large enough sample size. The same can be said about the NBA, where a big enough sample size is required to provide an accurate picture of the players. Take Roy Hakimura, for example. As a Laker, he appeared to have star potential, but he never got off the ground with the Washington Wizards. What will he look like in 2023-24? Who knows? Hakimura's potential may be realized in the future, but if not, there are rumors the Lakers might trade him for Jonas Valanciunas at the trade deadline next year. The New Orleans Pelicans would receive Hakimura, and the Los Angeles Lakers would get Valanciunas. Every NBA club must be concerned with sample size. Do they have enough information to draw a conclusion? This question becomes especially relevant around the trade deadline. Sometimes a team's performance might be misleading, like a team having a hot or cool stretch. For instance, the Lakers decided to move on from Russell Westbrook in 2022-23, and it led them to the Western Conference Finals. Could they make another major shift this year? If the agreement goes through, it will have to be before the deadline, as the Lakers cannot deal with Hakimura since he was just extended. Valanciunas is much younger than Hakimura, and if the Lakers are doing well with Hakimura contributing, they should be unwilling to trade him. However, if the Lakers are struggling, and Hakimura's 2022-23 breakout seems like a mirage, Valanciunas might be a fascinating addition to the roster. He could create court spacing for LeBron James' playmaking, while Anthony Davis's presence compensates for his defensive shortcomings. This trade would make sense if the Lakers want to dominate opponents with their size. As for the Pelicans, acquiring Hakimura depends on his performance and the sample size he has. If he has been underperforming in 2023-24, it might be a gamble worth taking, especially if the Lakers are struggling and have signed him to a long-term contract. In that case, the Pelicans could find their defensive big man later. However, if Hakimura has been performing well, the trade may not be as appealing for the Pelicans. In the end, all of this speculation may be for naught. Valanciunas could be gone before this year's trade deadline if the Pelicans are indeed looking for a more flexible defensive big man. It all depends on how things play out, and we'll have to wait and see. Leave your opinion in the comments, and thank you for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to be notified when we post new videos. And here's the channel's tip, study financial education and have a better quality of life, in the financial market, studying bonds and shares real estate investment trust, with responsibility for passive income, operating in the best investment brokerages in the world.